Dear brothers and sisters, Today, I do not wish to distract you with my homily, since the most important part of today's liturgy is to contemplate on the cross of Jesus Christ. However, let me share with you some thoughts on one of the most important characters of the Passion narrative, Peter, the disciple of Jesus. Peter denies Jesus three times by refusing to admit he is a disciple of his. We learn from the scriptures that Peter had been with Jesus from the beginning. He was one of the first disciples to follow Jesus. He had witnessed some of the most important movements of Jesus' ministry, including the transfiguration of Jesus on Mount Tabor. When Jesus had asked his disciples whether they would also go away like many others, Peter boldly confessed his faith and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Peter thought he knew Jesus enough to not be afraid to challenge him when Jesus wanted to wash his feet. Peter had promised Jesus that he was ready to give his life for him. Peter loved Jesus so much that he tried to protect him by cutting off the ear of a soldier during his arrest. But then on the contrary, he behaved cowardly when he was confronted by the people. While Jesus was inside the courtyard being harshly interrogated by the high priest, his opponents, Peter, sitting outside with the guards, denied three times that he knew Jesus. In short, I would say that Peter was one of Jesus Christ's most devoted followers. Yet during Jesus' final hours, he not only abandoned his Master and Lord Jesus, but also denied three times that he even knew him. Why did Peter deny him? The reason is that all along Simon Peter was afraid. Jesus would die and he feared for his own life as well. Peter was not prepared to face the ridicule and persecution that Jesus was suffering. He let his passions have the better of him instead of keeping faith in God. Friends, just like Peter, we may show great devotion and make totally sincere promises to our Lord and others, but perhaps like Peter, we may also deny Jesus, not just one time, two times or three times, but many times. What does it mean to deny Jesus? Denying Jesus means rejecting his word, failing to live up to his teachings, and rejecting his authority over our lives. For instance, Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. If we do not keep the commandments of the Lord, as we have promised to, we naturally deny Jesus himself. Like Peter, we may have promised devotion to and love for our parents, spouse, children and friends. But we may break our promises and deny our love and care for them when we think they have failed us miserably. We often go back on our promises when challenges come our way. Friends, let us ask the Lord today to forgive us for the times we have fallen short in our discipleship. Let us ask the Lord to forgive us for the times we have failed to offer love and support to others because of fear and the lack of faith. Amen. God bless you.